All right, guys, today we're at a Chevy dealership. Today, we've got Danny here. Danny, thank you so much for meeting up with me. Yeah, of course. Man, I do appreciate it. So this is his setup. Full bank US General cart there, and then I love this classic red box. This is a Master Series. So how long have you been wrenching? Uh, about 20 years, and then about 16, the last 16 at the dealer. Oh, nice. Is it mostly like GM? Yeah, it's always been GM dealers. Oh, GM. Like the GM product line? Yeah. Wrenching on it? Yeah. That's, That's pretty sweet. So how long have you had the red box here? So I've had the box about 13 years. I think this one specifically about 10 years. I had the older style and our shop got broken into and the box got broken into and destroyed. No. So yeah, insurance got paid for a new box oh, in the top. Yeah, that's good. So that was about, I think about 10, 10, 11 years ago. And then after that, I bought the hutch and the locker. Oh, nice. And then the little locker, it's snap on, but I've had that for a long time. It's pretty old. I love it, that. That's like a, Definitely vintage, it's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the Snap-on logo here yeah. and here, it's quite a bit different, but yeah. so it's way shallower. It's mostly just parts, I'll show you it. But yeah, so is this something you've recently purchased or is this something you've- uh, I've had this for three years now, I think. Oh, nice. I haven't seen very many people that have had them for that long and you know, like daily use. Do these hold up pretty well? These ones do, Those. and they come, like they have the other five drawer or four drawer or whatever. Uh -huh. And those don't have, these have four swivel casters, all cast, oh. all four casters swivel. Yeah. <laughs> but I haven't had any problems with the slides, you know, these, I mean, even with all this stuff up on the top, it stays up by itself. Looks so. like you utilize the magnets quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. These magnets actually come out of, there was a recall on the cobalt power steering motors. Uh -huh. You take them apart, you can take those magnets out of them <laughs> and they're big. They hold up a lot of stuff. That is so. awesome. So what all you typically keep up here? So I pretty much have this set up for my daily use and it's mostly set up for like uh, GM stuff specifically. Okay. So I have seven, eight, 10, 13, 15, 18, 21, 24. So it skips a bunch of sizes. Like if you're working on Toyotas and Hondas, yeah. I skip all those sizes cause we don't use them much. Nice. I have them down here, but okay. so that's kind of what all these are, you know, eight, 10, uh, 13, 15. You know, and then the bigger ones, 21 and 24. And then these, I don't know if you've ever seen these before. They're a, a deep impact wobbly. Huh. And everybody told me they couldn't get them. And finally my Snap-on guy found them. Nice. They're gray pneumatic. That's the only place that I found that had impact deep wobblies. Nice. And those are so, I mean. I bet they come in handy. Yeah, I use this all the time. And those are awesome. 22, a 24, and a 19 for lug nuts. That's the only one I still use this for lug nuts and stuff. I haven't really converted to the half inch okay. cordless. Yeah, I like the green, that's cool. Yeah. I haven't seen that. <laughs> My other one, I had one of the older, like gray style like this, uh -huh. and it went to crap. And then I, so I was looking for one, I found the green one. Nice. I like green, so I had to that's awesome. do the green. <laughs> Is snap on your, your, oh, you have a Milwaukee here too. Yeah, so I, I have both. I have another, I have a Milwaukee three eighths. Okay. But this with that double trigger. Oh yeah. It's super sweet. I mean it yeah, in my opinion makes things easier and quicker. Absolutely, yeah. And then this thing, the long neck, I have the shorter one and then I got the long neck. Uh -huh. And that makes all the difference. Yeah, you like, like the long neck. Oh one. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. You can get into everywhere. And Absolutely. I really just use my quarter inch. I don't even use a three eighths very much. I don't think the three eighths has that much more power. Yeah. I love that um, you still use air. Like, I don't see that very often. Yeah. So, I mean, I do a little bit of everything, but I'm the tranny guy. Okay. So, I kind of have to have a 3 8 air oh, to take yeah. the trannies out. Um, you know, all the stuff underneath. You need a little more power than what a lot of the cordless have. Then I got, these are the best flashlights streamlight, too, the Streamlight. Yeah. So, is that your go-to then, the yeah. Stinger? I use this and this, these little puck lights. This is actually a Harbor Freight one. Oh, nice. Um, I got for four of these and a couple snap-on ones. Awesome. These uh, Harbor Freight ones are super bright. The battery lasts forever, they charge fast, and then they, they'll they go all the way around too, which I like. Oh, okay, yeah. Some of the snap-on ones, they won't go this way. So like if I'm doing a valve body under the car, oh, yeah. you stick it like this and you need to point up, well the snap-on one won't, because right, it won't yeah. go that way, so. I feel I like you these. can buy like three of those for the price of one snap-on. Yeah. And like, uh, if you forget that on the car, you're not like devastated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I put this light up here that way 
usually I don't forget it under the car. Oh, like okay. I did the other day on the last car I was working on, I went to close my box and I was like, I'm missing my light. Yeah. Because <laughs> I had it under there and then it, the light, it died. And so I left it under there, but I remember it because I hang it up there. So. That's awesome. That's really cool because like you look at this every single day, so you can just look at it and tell when something's missing. Yeah, and missing. if there's a, you know a hole missing right. there, you know you're missing a socket. And that's cool. Got a bunch of ratchets there. Yeah, all my ratchets. Uh, so this one, this one, and then I got these are my go-to. Oh, nice. You know they're I used to have red ones, and then I traded a guy for a green one, and then this one I broke a a ratchet, so we warranted out for nice. for green. Awesome. And but yeah, those are my real go-tos. So you're not a fan of like the locking style? I hate the locking yeah. style. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw those in the trash. These, I mean, just if you keep these tight, uh -huh. I don't feel like I ever need the locking. You right. know, and then the the newer style locking ones are all right, but the old ones, you know, you could pull that thing over and lock it, uh -huh. but it'll always pop off. Right. Yeah. And so it was just yeah. I, I just like these. Get in the way a lot of times yeah. too. Long trim tool, which is sweet. And then I just picked this one up. It's a straight one. Oh, nice. And the guy beside me got one and I was asking him, I saw it and I was like, that could be super useful. And I was asking him, he's like, yeah, dude, I, I love it. I mean, you can stick them up in somewhere and like pry against each other, you know, oh, the pop clips out. Nice. And sometimes because it's, you know, this allows you to pry better, but sometimes you can't get up in there and get it on the clip. So then this one works well. Oh man. So. I don't think I've ever seen that, like a yeah. straight one. I never even knew they had it until huh. I saw his and he found out from a buddy of his or something. So I bought it the next week after <laughs> I sat and I've used it a ton. I mean, really? it's, yeah, it's crazy how much you, I didn't think I'd use it that much, but I've used it a lot. This is another straight pry bar. I got that. I'm like, I don't know if I'll use it that much, but it's pretty cool. But I use that a ton too. Yeah. Like way more than I thought that I would. I use it a lot for popping axles out of uh, CV axles out of front wheel drive transmissions. Oh, yeah. Cause okay. sometimes your regular pry bar because the frames in the way and stuff you can't get to it that works really well yeah and then this is my pliers uh this is a harbor freight rack i don't really like it really it's, like you pull pull this out uh -huh. and see how skinny it like it pushes oh, it over right yeah, away yeah, yeah. so then you go to put it back and it doesn't you gotta uh, sit there and mess with yeah, it yeah. Huh. so they slide really easy but they slide too well but these are kind of my go-to pliers and then kind of some random stuff but uh, a couple little vice grips needle nose ones nice. for pinching off pliers or uh hoses and stuff too cool if you need These, yeah that would get annoying real fast yeah i mean I like it huh just slides over and then you gotta fight with it the whole time or yeah. slide everything down and then these ones there's a ton of rave about those yeah i don't know if they still consider that talon grip or if it's something yeah different. talon grip okay i got them not knowing if they'd be that great you know i don't use type pliers a ton uh -huh. but i got them and they they work really well yeah. i mean and they're a lot stronger you know they don't flex like side to side when oh, you're trying okay, to do yeah. stuff and i really like them these ones too i don't know these are the super long snap-on ones yeah and a lot of people have a lot of uh tool brands have them and they even have a blue point pair that are a little bit longer uh -huh. but all the other brands are a lot thinner right here and so they flex and those things are awesome i actually use those a lot this thing's awesome too that's the best trim tool I've ever had. Yeah. Uh, learned on your channel that it's actually for aviation. Right, Doing yeah. the sheet metal stuff. I use it as a trim tool and that's probably the best trim tool I've ever had. I didn't realize how strong they were. Like, oh yeah, like, and that's why it's. Yeah. Because awesome. I used to just use my pocket pry bar a lot. Right. But it always like damages the plastic just a little bit. Uh -huh. Where this and you can really get it in there and it's strong and it doesn't yeah. damage the plastic. These little tiny needle nose. And these, these ones are snap on. The thing that's really nice about them, you see this little thing here? Yeah, I was just gonna say, what And is there's that? a hole there. So then when you're on something and you're trying to twist it, it won't let the, oh, the twist, because they're so skinny. They'll just, usually just twist. But these ones, that that's keeps neat. it solid. For any GM guys, this comes on the LS water pumps. Okay. So on the older style, the fan would thread onto the, the water pump. Uh -huh. The newer ones have electric fans. But this comes on the water pumps to protect the threads during uh, uh, shipping and stuff. So I take that and I cut this, cut a piece of it out, and that works perfect for the heater hose quick disconnects that go to the heater core on tr GM trucks. Because there's a special tool and like n nobody has it. I mean, you can order one, of course, but like yeah. I've never seen one on a tool truck or auto parts store or anywhere. The guy that I used to work with actually made one 
I think just out of being cheap, yeah. <laughs> he made one and I was like, dude, that works sweet. And it's real flexible so you can get it in there because you don't have much room against the firewall. Uh -huh. You can get it in there and it flexes real good. Nice. And then you got to kind of mess it with it once you get it in there to make sure that you get it loose. But huh. yeah, it works super well. These things are pretty sweet too. I think this is a Lyle set, but there are a bunch of different sizes of them. But it's for quick disconnects, like on deaf lines and stuff, where you have to squeeze the two sides, the plastic one, oh, you squeeze it okay, in. Okay, yeah. So when, rather than squeezing that in, and like we work on a lot of dairy trucks here, so they're all nasty underneath, full mm. of dirt and cow poop and everything. Uh -huh. So rather than having to squeeze that in and then try to work it off, this will go over that and it holds those tabs oh, wow, squeezed man. in. And then this is another homemade tool. It's a for the struts on like Suburbans and stuff, again, for GM guys on the newer ones. Uh -huh. So when you get a new strut, it doesn't come with a connector on it. It just comes with pins. Okay. So you got to de-pin the old connector and pop it on there. And this is a piece off of a windshield wiper, <laughs> like wiper blade. Uh -huh. And then you just, uh, one of the guys here kind of figured it out, but you just uh, grind it down a little bit, bend it, and then you can get in there. Because you have to like kind of go in and release it like this. Huh. And all my other snap on one's uh, tools and stuff didn't work but that yeah. one you get in there it's so you still got to work it but it right. actually works really well <laughs> um so this is all my other socket drawer nice. so my half inch stuff wobblies and this is the rest of my three eighths sockets allen's torx inverted torx and then i got this special one here that's for doing uh lt head bolts they have one allen really for whatever <laughs> stupid reason well it's the reason they did it is because it's a shorter one so oh, that you know gosh. where it goes. Oh, that makes sense. What are these things? things? So these, it's a whole set of them. It's a cert belt tool. Oh, okay. And then they just okay. pop in here. Nice. And then you can get all kinds of different angle, you know, different huh. angles with it. So you say you do uh, a lot of transmissions? Quality. Yeah. Or is there a mm -hmm. transmission that you like, you love to work on versus one that you just despise? I've worked on a lot of six and eight speeds. So those are kind of the easiest. Now we're starting to do a lot of 10 speed stuff. Okay. And they're kind of a different design. When you pull it apart, the whole all the internals come out as one piece, and then you have to disassemble that. Oh. So it's just a lot heavier and a lot more cumbersome to deal with. Oh, okay. But it's huh. not a huge deal. And then this is an oil pressure sender socket. Oh, that's cool. I've yeah. never seen one like that. I mean, I got these ones back here, and they work. You know, these ones work super well most of the time. Uh huh. A couple different lengths. Yeah, I've seen but like that those, one, but that's yeah. That'd be handy. Like a crow's foot style. Real to, tight area. Yeah. Uh, this kind of. I should probably put some more wrenches in here. It's just the rest of the sets that I have up here, stethoscope. Nice. That thing's super handy. Are these uh, organizers something special? Yeah, or? they're the toolbox widget. Oh, they are, okay. Yeah, which I, I, you've probably seen those, but they have the magnet on them and you can add one or two or oh, however yeah. many you want. And that's why those that's things good. are awesome. I mean, my other drawer in there that has a, the rest of my wrenches is all filled up with those. Awesome. And then this one. Got my hammers over here, my specialty hammer. Look at that, what is that? <laughs> I think it's like a homemade one or something That's that cool. I got somewhere, but I actually use that a ton, Do you? like way more than you would think. <laughs> These things are super useful too. I mean, I use those on like popping CV axles out too, if you're in some weird place. And then these uh, PZ or whatever they're called. Oh yeah. Those things are, they grip better than I think they grip better than the Knipex and all the other stuff. Yeah. I mean, they're <laughs> super awesome. <laughs> and then just other uh, air tools and cordless tools that I don't use nice. all that much. This is probably the best air saw that you can buy. Okay. Do you use that much here? <laughs> Usually if I have to use it yeah. <laughs> here in a situation, but I do use it yeah. a fair amount. Oh, okay. Um, and an air hammer. The snap on one snap I think on. is the best best one too. Do you? Have you had other snap still. or other air hammers? I have past? I think it's still in there, but it's an old Mac one. Yeah. And this one just hits so much better. Does so it? much harder. Um uh, then just some die grinders and stuff like that. This is just kind of some random stuff. Long air blowgun. This is another tool that another guy made and I copied. But you for like the front wheel drive transmissions, you can bolt this down to the tranny jack and then put a bolt through here to the tranny. Oh. 
because it, they come out at kind of a weird angle and stuff. Uh -huh. But if this is on there, it won't slide off the jack. Oh, that's nice. And then the, the uh, torque converters always get stuck in the end of the crank too. So uh -huh. you're fighting that and trying oh. to hold the tranny on there. <laughs> but that just holds it on. Punches and chisels and stuff. And then this is a snap-on piston compressor. Awesome. I like just a pistol grip that works really well and yeah. easy and quick to do. Are the, the Mac drill bit's pretty nice? Yeah. And the, the nice thing about the Mac ones, Every single one of these is lifetime warranty, oh, even these little really? tiny ones. That's nice. Where like the Maco ones, the, like all of these ones wouldn't be warranty, you know, just the uh, bigger ones are. Right now we don't have a Mac guy. That's the only thing that sucks. Oh yeah. So do you get all the other trucks? Yeah, snap on that Cornwell. Oh, okay. We just don't have the Mac. We don't have a Mac guy, which that kind of sucks because they got some nice stuff too. Yeah. And this is just kind of some random stuff. These are hoses for like draining uh fuel and stuff like that different air hoses for doing you gotta light the tire you know spray starter fluid in there, light it. you could hook that on there so you're stand way back yeah back off a little bit yeah your red box god I, I just love the classic red with the like the chrome finish like yeah i like the chrome you don't see this very often it's so nice yeah they have so many options now that you don't see this in so much so up here i just got my laptop kind of you know my chargers and stuff another extra flashlight and these nice. are all the other puck lights that i have okay yeah you got like a whole collection of them up there yeah so these are all the harbor freight ones this is a snap on one and this is the one that see it doesn't go the oh, other way yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's huh. kind of what i don't really like and then this is the this is the original one i found on the bottom of a truck and oh you I, found it huh? yeah <laughs> and then i was going to buy another one of these but they updated it to this style okay but then they don't it didn't go the other way like I needed gotcha, it. We yeah. used to do tons of valve bodies on eight speeds. And so I used it like every day. And then I dropped this one the other day and broke uh, it. But yeah. I'm going to try to super glue it uh, back together. I always wonder what happens to tools that like I lose and stuff. I'm glad people find <laughs> you yeah. can use them and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I was on the bottom of a used car that somebody else was doing actually. And I walked by and saw it and I was like, well, oh, it's mine, it's mine now. <laughs> And then it charged back up fine and Man, been working ever since. Awesome. So Is this like the, uh, you have like an interface for your your laptop? Yeah, so it's the called an MDI. It's just the GM scanner. Oh, okay. And then you do it off the laptop. Nice. It usually works pretty well. So do you ever use like anything other than the factory? Oh, uh, we have a snap on one here too. Yeah. So okay. if we're doing uh, any other off-brand stuff, oh, we'll okay. just that use that sense. one. Yeah. But I mean, sometimes if you gotta walk across the parking lot just to scan one real real quick, yeah. you can grab a snap on one and or the snap on scanner and take it over there just to gotcha. scan something. Huh. The snap-on ones, you, I mean, you can, like, if you got to run a regen or something like that on a diesel, you can just leave that in there and still be working off your computer in here. Oh, okay. okay. Stuff like that. So. so, would there ever be a like a point in time where using an Autel or snap-on would be better than using the factory software for a GM? Generally, no, unless their system's down or oh, something. Oh, okay. That gotcha. Happens sometimes. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you just can't really do anything. Yeah. So huh. nice to have the Snap-on one, so that we have another option. Gotcha. But. And I've heard they're putting like uh, barriers, like protocols and stuff, so that people can't use Snap-on and stuff. New I've heard course. that. I haven't seen that on okay. any GM stuff yet. Oh, okay. But I've heard that they're doing that. But our Snap-on guy also said that they're they're trying to work with them to be able oh. to get through there and stuff too. That makes sense. These are just flexible magnets that are a lifesaver sometimes. Special tool that I made it threads into your torque converter. So once you have the transmission out, you can just thread them in and hold on to them to get the torque converter out. Oh, that's cool. Put it back in so you don't smash your fingers and stuff. Yeah. So I just made those. They're, have something to hold on to? Yeah. And then these are for like old four speed uh, 406s and stuff. When you're putting the pump down in, you got to line it up. So you screw these in, it lines up the, the pump cover over it. And then you can just put a screwdriver in there and twist oh, them out. Man, that's you don't cool. have to mess with trying to line it up. Almost like a dowel. Yeah. Like a dowel pin. Yeah. Huh. These are just little baggies that I save from parts and stuff to put other. If you got to tear a whole motor apart. I just put a motor in a medium duty like a week ago. Uh -huh. But I tore it apart back in December. Oh, geez. And we're now in August. <laughs> so putting parts and, <laughs> yeah. you know, bolts and stuff in the little baggies helped organize stuff a lot. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, that come in handy. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm like, oh, I'll keep a few. And then I end up keeping a hundred of them. <laughs> in here, this is mostly just parts, fuses and clamps and bulbs and stuff. Nothing really interesting in here. Just 
bulbs and I love that there's drawers in there That's yeah cool. just random stuff I mean I guess I could put tools in here but I use it more for parts and it kind of keeps it separate from my the rest of my box too nice this is more of kind of a personal junk drawer doing a promo right now every time they sell a car everybody gets a two dollar bill what so that's been pretty cool oh, that's cool this this is all receipts this is uh like bolt out like extractors oh yeah a bunch of more some bigger drill bits big set of allen oh, wrenches man, are these are just regular allen oh, allen nice. keys these two old set of drill bits that it, now that I have the max set, I don't really use. What is this set? That's kind of cool looking. So I don't really use it, but it's kind of cool. So this goes in there, and then this ratchets and turns oh, the... Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, it's just a little palm. I think I maybe got it at a garage sale or something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I don't really <laughs> use it that much, but it's like a one-way clutch kind of deal in there. Nice. Uh, this is kind of some random stuff. Uh, that joint, grease joint revitalizer. So you can put... Oh, okay. Uh, like rust penetrant in there, it uh -huh. clips onto the. If you can't put grease in it, uh -huh. so then you fill it up with like uh, rust penetrant or something. You put this on there, screw it on, and then you just hit this down, hey. and it forces it in. That's cool. It's pretty cool. Usually anymore, if, if the grease dirt is rusted enough, the components rusted oh, too. Okay, so I yeah. just replace the whole yeah, component. That makes sense. But this is the impact driver. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is a snap on one. What's nice about this one is you can fit a wrench over here. So you can, if you really need to put torque on it to turn it. Okay, you that's can fit cool. A, a I never noticed there. that. Yeah, that's Because really most of them are just round. Yeah. With the snap on one quarter. Yeah, one and a quarter huh. fits right on there. Just an Astro set of a bunch of. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, it's got a whole bunch of different bits and kind of random stuff. I think this is an extractor set. Yeah. Huh. Older style. Actually, these are uh, for broken off taps. If you break the tap off in there, these little things slide out. Oh, okay, yeah. So they go like between where yeah. the, okay, yeah. Between it and then you can twist gotcha, twist the yeah. tap out. These ones, these are old Craftsman set, but uh -huh. they actually work really well. Nice. You know, they're, and they're super low profile. Oh yeah. We had a drain plug the other day that guy was trying to take a drain plug out and the longer ones wouldn't fit on there. So we were able to get this one on there and put gotcha, a yeah. wrench on it and stuff and worked huh. really good. This is a snap on set of bits. And I got Allen's to go up to, I think, a 10 mil. Nice. That's like an older set, huh? That's yeah. cool. Oh, this is one that I found on your channel, too, the Wobbly. Oh, it yeah. A wobbly thing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Bought that. <laughs> it works real well when you need it. Uh, this drawer this is kind of a random drawer. Brake line flaring tool. These are some other calipers that I don't really use. A straight edge for uh, measuring blocks and stuff. Nice. Quarter inch uh, burr bit set. Oh, yeah. Those are tiny. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You need them sometimes when you're getting into situations yeah. to break something. Uh, this is kind of my electrical drawer, an amp hound. Those things are sweet for, you can just put it across the, the fuse and it tells you how much amps it's pulling. Oh, nice. So yeah. those work really well. A meter, it's pretty old, but it works really well. These test leads, these are actually Harbor Freight ones that I just oh. bought, but they're, I think these are 30, yeah, 30 foot. Oh, man. So I can go from like under the hood to the back of the car. Yeah because these ones are only 10 foot. This thing's another thing that's super cool. This goes in your cigarette lighter, and then it gives you a power and a ground. Oh, okay, yeah. What I use it for, I put it in there and use the ground for my test light, because when you're inside the car, it's hard to know if you have a good ground. You know, you're trying oh, to test, true, and you're like, yeah. do I have a good ground, or am I, you know, yeah. not have power here? So I use that a ton. Yeah, that'd be, because that's like an actual car ground. Like, right. Yeah, that's kind and of then, you know, you put this in, this light comes on, so you know that you're in there. Oh, okay. And you can even ground your test light here and touch here, so you know that your test light, everything's huh. working. Yeah. You know that you have a good ground. Then you can go and test huh. what you're doing. You have more confidence. This is a bunch of pullers. So, it's like all the snap-on, big snap-on set of power steering pullers. And then you got a three-jaw, a two-jaw. You got this style of two-jaw, bearing splitters back here. This goes on your slide hammer for popping hubs and stuff out. This is, you know, the other style. Comes with all the bolts and stuff, and then I got extra. Yeah. All kinds of other bolts that I've collected for doing different stuff. And these are just some Matco aluminum. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, grinder bits. Coarse ones. Yeah. So I'm curious, uh, you said your, your box got broken into before. Yeah. Like, did they, like, wipe your whole toolbox out? So they took, like, most of the top drawer, and then I think the second drawer, and then the guy beside me, same thing. He had the same, he had a same box, but a blue one. Uh -huh. 
and they took it all out and they had it like in trash cans out behind the the back oh and one of the service managers there was actually two dealers there one of the service managers would get there super early and just kind of drive around make sure no cars were stolen that kind of thing uh -huh. and they saw him and it scared him no so they way. left all the tools jumped in the truck and took off wow and so i we both got they we had a little flashlight kind of like this uh -huh. and they stole those and then they stole my stream light and huh. that's all they got away with wow so we got super lucky in that way yeah but and huh. after that i started taking pictures of all my tools that's what i was thinking like yeah. having to like tell them everything that you're missing yeah like they just <laughs> i don't know how they unless they have something like a video like this like, yeah <laughs> i don't know how else they yeah it's very it super hard so huh. so my top drawer is my socket drawer okay this is kind of my extra like bigger socket drawer <laughs> like 12 point stuff that you don't use all that often but when you need it you got to have it some big allens little chrome wobblies that are kind of suicide wobblies but <laughs> i keep them in case you need them what uh, are these things so they're uh inner tie rod you can put it on the inner oh. tie rod and twist it off huh. and then there's a a long uh pole this is an older style one i think that i've had forever i don't really use them i always forget that i have them but and then just some of the half inch you know thin wall stuff and you know stuff that i don't use all that much this is just kind of random old steel drivers and stuff these go when you pull your drive shaft out this goes in the back of the tranny or the t-case so you can pull it out without leaking fluid everywhere oh okay so those work pretty sweet did this come with this box this uh... yeah oh it did okay. so this is actually out of my old box i think oh it is okay. but yeah it just lifts out but it's sweet you know it's just an extra way to yeah oh it even the there. handle even goes down yeah oh, that's cool and this is the socket drawer here kind of standard on this side metric on this side uh this is some of the gm axle nut sockets for the duramaxes and stuff is this, is this like a newer design i've never seen this yeah okay. so they used to have this design now they have this design and they actually just redid it so they have a different design now too huh. and then just some bigger sockets that's for the crank bolt on a duramax this is for axle nuts or for diff adjusters on the new heavy duty trucks oh like huh. duramaxes they have a huge nut in there and you just that's how you adjust the preload and oh the, really huh. the backlash what is this like <clears throat> did you <clears throat> i don't i think i found that one oh, okay <clears throat> it's just i don't know exactly you know obviously if somebody needed that <laughs> yeah made a tool for something the, i have another one that's kind of similar uh -huh. that i made because the on the duramaxes the heavy duty trucks the, they were having problems with the steering gears coming apart so we ended up having to set preload on them oh okay and they're like a, a d shape or whatever for the the intermediate shaft to come down and hook onto and nothing will fit on there so i had to make this socket so that i could put it on there and just so you oh. can actually measure the wow. the preload these things well i have one snap on them <clears throat> these things are pretty sweet when you need them you can get into real tight areas and this is a gear wrench set that i bought after i didn't want to buy the full, <laughs> the full snap on set my extra batteries um this thing's pretty cool too that's an old number seven ratchet oh jeez, that's like an old one yeah whenever i see old tools like that i always wonder like what what somebody used it on you know yeah. like some old ford or something yeah that's so cool. it's pretty cool i just keep it in here because i think it's super cool is this a, a stream light here too huh yeah this is a different style i just got it warrantied nice that looks super was, bright this one actually got ran over oh not by me <laughs> but it was ran over and they warranty it for me you know just half inch sockets and then three eighths chrome and the shallows and out my standard allens these are just a really this is the rest of that set really just bought it for that one to do the def pumps on oh okay really big set of allens i only use i think it's this 10 for the the newer duramaxes again that they have an allen for the brake caliper bolt oh and they get rusted and so you got to put a lot of torque on them to get them out sometimes yeah i don't see very many uh like hex that are impact rated like that that's kind of neat yeah so this is the uh gray pneumatic oh, deep yeah. wobbly set so this again this i love these things <laughs> and these things <clears throat> this is a flywheel holding tool for the duramaxes so that the crank bolt torques down to like almost 300 foot pounds or something like that oh, just super super tight so you have to lock the flywheel to get it loose. Uh -huh. And this one, you can, there's a inspection plate on the bell housing. You pop off, slide this in there. It's just way quicker than using the other one. You got to pull the starter off 
and do it that way and oh, it takes yeah. way longer this one's just super fast to nice. slide in there and you got to pull that the crank pulley off if you're doing a water pump stuff like that yep. so it's super super helpful uh these like one piece low profile allens oh they're pretty sweet i haven't seen those before yeah i got them because on the the new 10 speeds the fill plug is super super tight it's loctited in there uh -huh. but it's like you don't have any clearance oh so like trying to use a bit to get it off it'll just break the bit oh so i bought this set mostly for that and then these uh well these are some five point torques oh okay they're starting to use them more and more it seems like really I, i'd only use them a couple times and then in like the last month like three guys have borrowed them really to do stuff it's huh. crazy and these are sweet too the for line wrenches oh like yeah. getting off uh especially like diesel fuel lines and stuff yeah and now everything's high pressure direct injected so i use those quite a bit anymore i just it, uh, like i was over shows. here and i just looked like you have a <laughs> oh I, yeah I saved a couple of those <laughs> you know, like, i'm not <laughs> I'm not going to have to hunt for those for a while. Yeah, then you don't ever have to, to look for one. <laughs> yeah. Every time you replace a radiator, I just started saving them. You know, I was like, oh, I'll save a couple. and then That's so smart because like, you work at GMs. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's them all there. tons of those. and uh, I saved a couple and then turns into saving <laughs> a whole bunch of them. Then I got my wrench drawer. So, yeah, it's all. I finally got all the toolbox widget stuff in here. That's so nice. Yeah, that stuff's sweet. Just bought these thin wrenches those okay. things are sweet when you need them nice what makes those mm -hmm. uh these ones are snap on oh, those are snap -on. yeah nice. and these are from harbor freight okay. i think they're considered uh like hydraulic line wrenches oh yeah. but they go super big they go up to inch and five eighths wow but they're short and they're thin so for doing like some of the sensors on diesels and stuff yeah. rather than having to take everything apart you can get this in there and just get oh, it loose nice. and these are for inner tie rods they go on and the more you pull on it the tighter they get oh nice because they get all rusty how's that so compared then, to like the pz uh i think the pz probably work better yeah. plus they're longer so you can get oh, more okay, yeah. uh leverage but these are like the perfect size for gm tie rods oh gotcha. so they're super handy sometimes if they're real stuck well usually you got to heat them if they're stuck enough gotcha. but these work this is for doing alignments on gm stuff you can put it over the adjuster I've never got it to work very well. Oh, really? So, yeah, huh. I mean, I don't know if it's just me or if it just doesn't huh. really work. And this is another inner tie rod tool. So you can slide it over the, the tie rod and then yeah. put your socket on there and pop it loose. This is all the screwdrivers that I don't use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all my other little picks that if I need one, some trim tools. I do use these. These are the to take connectors apart. Oh, get the okay, terminals yeah. and stuff. Terminal release tools. Yeah. Those are super useful got some of my longer screwdrivers and stuff in there that's a cool set <laughs> yeah i don't think i've seen one that's quite this old in like a tray yeah that's cool yeah that set's pretty old and this set's pretty old i don't really use them all that much but yeah <laughs> you gotta still keep them around like nut drivers some guys love them i, I mean you can tell they're even dusty <laughs> i don't really use them that much but i have them yeah. here <laughs> if i need them what is this is this just like a driver yeah it's a three eighths one. Oh, that's weird so you got i got huh. I don't know where the little, I got a little quarter one somewhere, but well, that's another, this is another uh, terminal tool. It just has like a, like you can slide. So it has these things and then three different sizes oh, for super small. Okay, okay. And then they just slide into the end there, huh. kind of like a die grinder. And then as you tighten it down, it tightens uh, on them. Okay. That, that thing's super useful depending on what terminal you're messing with. This is, Again, all the pliers that I don't, <laughs> don't use. Uh, I mean, I use some of them. You know, I had a, some random ones of these, and I finally bought the Milwaukee set. Oh, okay. So they work really well. And then I got my uh, snap ring pliers in here that I use all the time. See, this is that automatic set. I just uh, don't really use them huh. that much. I just use those that little set. These are for doing uh, drum brakes. The little C clip that's on there, oh, pop yeah. it off. They kind of work. They usually just <laughs> slip off and smash your fingers. Yeah. But oh, this thing here too. So this is, you know, adjusts it. Uh -huh. But then your uh, slide hammer screws into there. You know, clamp onto something and then put your huh. slide hammer on and pop it off. Those things are 
pretty sweet. Did that come with the Milwaukee? No, so it came with the regular one. This oh, is that's different. separate. Yeah. Oh, huh. That's so cool. I bought that. I probably have an Amazon or something. I don't know, Lyle or. Oh, so you something can put that there. in any of these? Yeah. That's cool. This is kind of a random drawer. Um, this is for the snap on seal uh, or uh, race bearing bearing race drivers. Oh, okay. But it's a real long one, so when you're nice. trying to put like a pinion one, pinion one in or something. Yeah. Snap on the uh, wheel weight hammer. I think that's the best wheel weight hammer out there too. Is it? It works so much better. Like most of the time, the tip gets all wore out and you can't even get the, the weights off. Yeah. And this one, you got more leverage nice. to hammer and stuff. I, I really like them. I but. can't tell you how many times I've smashed my hands <laughs> doing like being in a hurry and it like yeah. it slips. Oh, that's yeah. the worst. And these ones grab way better. They're huh. a little bit longer. I just think they work so much better. So nice. I try not to do tires, but right, yeah. if I have to, I don't want to be <laughs> smashing my fingers. These super long screwdrivers, they're All actually right. super useful when you need them sometimes. I mean, uh, so. that's a cool little set there. It was this like yeah, a little ball Allen set. Yeah. I don't even know. I think it's out. Uh, I don't even huh. know where I got them from, but um, some of my bigger wrenches, Harbor Freight ones that go up to two inch. Oh, okay. This is a lockout kit. Oh, I didn't know Blue Point made a lockout kit. Yeah. Is it's, that similar to like the Big Easy? Yeah. I mean, they're all pretty similar. This one's pretty cool. Like these just snap together. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, and then you so just... you don't have, like, one big bar. Yeah. Huh. And then... They, so they just snap together and pop apart. And, nice. And then this is the torque angle, or tech angle torque wrench. Oh, nice. A little bit older style, but... You use this quite a bit? Yeah. yeah. Especially head bolts on the LS and LT motors. Oh, okay, yeah. Use that all the time. This is kind of some more random stuff, some older seal drivers. Most of my air tools that I don't use anymore. Uh, this is a the old this is old school Mac air hammer. Look at that! Super old. <laughs> the reason I keep it is because it's shorter, oh, so sometimes okay. it's nice. But yeah. if this also untwists and then it like hammers back on your hand, so you oh. gotta kind of hold <laughs> two hand it. But huh. I just keep it around because it's shorter. That guy looks like it's been through hell. <laughs> yeah. These I don't know if you ever seen those. They're for e-brake cables. Oh okay. Like in the middle of the truck, there's a little disconnect but it's a huge pain to to do yeah but with this you hook it on there and it pops it right out oh my gosh so it helps especially with how many cabs we got to pull on diesels and stuff anymore oh yeah that helps a ton this is a little torque wrench oh nice for measuring like preload and stuff yeah. doing diffs do you have to set up many diffs here yeah. yeah i mean i've had quite a few recently it seems like they're kind of going back to having a lot of problems. oh yeah <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't have a ton of problems for a while and huh. it seems like there's starting to be more problems another older torque wrench another torque wrench i pulled out of the trash this is a three-quarter inch ratchet oh yeah the adjustable one Love this is that. a yeah a matco one and this thing's sweet i mean it yeah. works so much better have you put some torque on it yeah yeah so originally i got it for pulling uh, crank pulley bolts on Duramaxes. Okay. But then uh, at one, the last dealership I was at, they the used car guy was working on a Porsche that has like the center locking uh, hub instead of having like five lug nuts. Oh, okay. It just yeah. has one. And they torqued a like super high torque. And he couldn't bust it loose even with like a half, half inch breaker bar with a cheater bar. Uh -huh. So I was like, well, you can use this if you want. And he popped him right off with nice. this. And then the other day we were trying to pull a head on a three liter diesel yeah and we couldn't break the head bolts loose really and so then they borrowed this and it popped them popped them loose right away uh this is just a whole bunch of random random stuff i got a little slide hammer a big slide hammer what's that green thing that's weird so this is for uh engine holding fixture when you're pulling a front wheel drive transmission okay um the rest of it's over there there's a bar i got a picture off to show you it goes between the strut towers and so there's a, these sit on the strut towers. Oh, there's a bar oh. that goes between there. Like it supports the engine. Yeah. Oh, I see. And then there's okay. another one that comes out from the from that one, and this sits on the uh, radiator support. Oh, okay. And then you can chain off of that. This is a special tool that I made for doing six-speed and eight-speed transmissions. 
like the final drive and stuff in the transmissions uh -huh. you have to thread this down in there and then you pull the whole thing out oh nice so i just made a little t-handle to huh. lift it out of there some bigger things of these i just bought this it's super good for pulling engines and stuff oh that's nice and it's weight rated to like 2,000 pounds oh man so you can huh. pull engines and stuff with it and i got d-rings and these little these you can screw onto the block and then chain it up nice. like when you're pulling the tranny or something or if you're pulling a motor sometimes they use those so this used to be my socket and <laughs> uh, extension drawer now yeah. a lot of it's in there nice but this is a little bit driver uh ratchet that actually oh, works yeah. super good that's tiny yeah huh. and for doing like tire sensors is, is what that's oh, for okay kind of empty now that i I just haven't organized it <laughs> yeah. since I got a cart, but this is kind of a random catch-all drawer, a bunch of fuel line disconnect tools and extra zip ties and just all kinds of kind of random stuff. This is for older GM stuff that has the tilt steering. There's oh, a okay. pivot pin in there that you have to pull out and it's a little puller. Like you don't, huh. almost no other way to get it out really? other than screwing that in there and then Huh. pressing it out I haven't used that in years but oh that so they don't use that style anymore no they oh, got okay. different kinds but gotcha. this is a punch drawer nice you know i got uh roll pin punches chisels and other punches these are those spring uh spring oh, loaded, wow. like, punches and stuff they work pretty well when you you know they got a, this one's just a regular punch there's a, a center punch a couple center punches a chisel huh and the spring's actually pretty tight on yeah, there. If you oh, pull, I, yeah. pull that, then it's... <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Because I know can, uh, there's like there's a company that makes... I didn't know Snap-on made their own set. That's cool. Yeah. This is a GM special tool. It's to pop off mirror glass on your outside rear view mirrors. Oh. And if you've got to pull the, the glass to replace it or whatever, huh. it goes in there and you could pry on it. This is my extra hammers. So I got a super oh, big a one there. big one. And, you know, extra heel bars and pry bar and stuff this thing's pretty sweet too i think this is a cornwell one but gear ranch and everybody make it it's an adjustable nice adjustable one uh -huh. but then it's an adjustable length too oh that's so cool yeah i have one of these in my toolbox that i take with me when i travel and stuff yeah and you got it goes down real small but you can that's use awesome. a big one if you need it this is just a bunch of cases of uh, I think that's my oil pressure, oil and tranny pressure gauge. This thing's a lifesaver, that thread restore kit. Oh, yeah. I mean, those things are invaluable. Fuel pressure gauge, these are uh, tap and die. Nice. This thing, too, the air lift, you can suck down the cooling system and then fill oh, it up. Yeah. yeah. Those, I mean, that thing is, I hate filling cooling systems until I got this. Yeah. It just works so much better, so much faster. You don't get air pockets in there. Absolutely. Like once you get that, it's so difficult to not have like do a car without it. Yeah. It's like miserable. Yeah. Compression gauge set. I think this is standard and that's the metric tap and die. Oh, okay. For doing rear calipers, if you gotta oh, yeah. twist them in, it works good if you gotta do that. This is a power probe. Okay. Those things are awesome too. You still use that quite a bit? Yeah. I mean it doesn't take place of your uh regular test light uh -huh. but to use with your test light like because you can apply power and apply ground and stuff so it works sweet yeah i just used it on my daughter's car the other day or window switch went out i just popped the window switch out applied power and ground to the wires and rolled her window up oh nice yeah so stuff like that it works super good this is just the other extractor set snap on one okay this is an extractor extractor set as well the snap on Oh, like rounded yeah. bolt those ones are these are my favorite ones are they? i mean they work so well and then in here uh these are uh seal drivers okay or not i keep saying seal drivers the bearing race drivers okay but the, this is a lyle set that's way bigger oh okay i mean they go up to like like this big or something oh yeah yeah so those things are sweet this is a gauge set for like uh bore gauge set and stuff oh, okay for measuring taper in your pistons and stuff or in your cylinders i don't use it a ton but this is the snap-on i'll show you this one There's set the snap-on came out with oh yeah these things are sweet because most are of them so are nice. aluminum yeah yeah and that's what this is for in that longer one in the other drawer gotcha goes with this set but these 
I mean, they just hold up so much better. I don't think I've, I mean, that one's kind of beat up because I've really hammered on it, but uh -huh. I've never even warrantied one of these. Nice. That's an aluminum race bearing driver set. Uh, this is a, oh, this is a tie rod. Oh, the, oh whoa. A, and they're adjustable. It's a gear wrench set. That's Can't do different. it one handed very well, but. But yeah, you can adjust the angle on it. Oh, wow. Like that, and then the handle. It has a handle that screws in there. <clears throat> or the one that goes on your uh, air hammer, too. Huh. And so it's like a pickle fork, right? Yeah, pickle huh. fork, but it's an adjustable. You That's can adjust different. your angle and stuff. I've never so. seen that before. And then this set's so pretty cool. I don't know if you've seen these before, but it's a, like a rethread kit. <clears throat> but it's just like a universal. So you take this tool and you can see this piece come out as you screw it in oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so then you can like put it down in a hole and then you tighten it, tighten it down. <clears throat> Especially if like you have a hole that you can't get to the other side. You just put this oh, down in yeah. there, do this. And then as you turn it out, it straightens out the end huh. of the threads. So you like, you put it in a good spot. Yeah, and then you further just down. Keep going. Oh, yeah. I see. Huh. And then as you pull it out, it's because it's usually the beginning of the threads that right. get screwed up. Right? Huh. These other pieces, these are basically the same thing, but for like a bolt. So you can start higher on the bolt uh, okay. or stud or whatever, tighten it down, you nice. know, twist it out. So they work super good when you need them. And then this is a snap on ball joint press. Okay. Which that thing is, they clip together and stuff. Oh, I think yeah. you've seen those, but these are just the uh, small, uh, basically like a bearing race driver. They call them uh, like a bushing driver. Yeah, bushing driver. Okay. So this goes down super small, and then this is the bigger set nice. that keeps going up from there. They're sweet. Another thing I use them for, you take one of these, you find when you're like fabricating or something, you know, if you got a hole that's that big, you know, you don't have a transfer punch that's that big, but then you can just put this in there, put this in there, transfer the hole. Oh, uh, okay. And huh. So that's another good thing about them. I think that's another power steering puller that I haven't even opened. It's like the <laughs> updated one that has an extra part, but I've never. Oh, okay. Never needed it, so I haven't opened it yet. This is a harmonic balancer installer tool. So you got all kinds of different threads for different crank sizes. For doing Fords, when they blow out the spark plugs, uh -huh. there's a rethread. Oh, that's different. Like a, it's a thread cert rather than just a time. Uh, oh. Thread cert or time cert. And they got the drill and the Oh, this is everything. for actually when the like this like it damages the head. Yeah, when oh, it pulls, rips the oh, threads out of the head, okay. and you use this. It works super good. It has this thing that aligns it and everything. Huh. This is an old school GM tool. It's for taking off uh, hubcaps huh. on like some of the Cadillacs and stuff. I don't even remember. It has different adapters. Oh, really? I haven't used it in who knows huh. how many years. But it goes on there and takes them off. Uh, Interesting. Because they have a, a lock on them, is what it was. Oh, right, yeah. in the center, huh? Yeah, That's right. okay. and so different adapters and stuff. And gotcha. I just don't really throw any of the tools away. Yeah. <laughs> More snacks, and then I got grinder and a heat gun, a little Harbor Freight one that works. On this, the medium duties, instead of having hose clamps on the coolant hoses, uh -huh. they're a shrink clamp now, like a heat shrink. You slide it over and you got to heat it up to shrink it on there. What? It's, I don't know, it's Whoa. kind of a pain, but. Huh. Is that a battery tester there? Is yeah, oh, okay. it's just a, one of the old GM ones that they were throwing away, so oh, I kept it, nice. still works. And then a grinder when things really get Western. <laughs> this is just extra parts and stuff. Okay. Mostly tranny stuff. Uh, I don't really use the AC gauges anymore, but this is for dropping spare tires on GM. Oh, okay. So I'd rather have to dig through and find the customer one. Oh, I just yeah. got my own. C clamps for doing random stuff. And then these are lifting pads for Corvettes. Oh, they go okay. up in the frame of the Corvette and then you can lift off of them. And you, so you say you don't use the, the manifold anymore? Yeah, this, we have the AC machine. So oh, I don't okay. use that too much. Huh. Um, now I'm guessing all the newer Chevys are the one, two, three. One, two, three, four, uh, four YF. YF. Okay. Yeah. Huh. yeah, and that machine takes way, too, way longer to use. Oh, does but, it really? Oh, yeah, it's like huh. four times as long. It's got to like, it sucks it out and then tests it and then puts it back and it does. Oh, wow. Runs through all kinds of safety huh. tests. Another AC set. Um, this is the Suicide Strut McPherson Strut <laughs> Spring <Yeah>. Compressor. <laughs> These are some more of the Toolbox Widget oh, nice. organizers. This is like an old, old, old 
I don't know if I even know how to use it, but what is that? Uh, digital engine analyzer. Huh. So it does your ohms, your volts. Uh, I don't know. It, <clears throat> I don't never use it. It's like an old old school thing that you can hook up to. It tells you like which cylinder is misfiring for like timing and you know, oh, the, that's interesting. stuff like that. I do have one other tool over here. What's technically that? the shops, but I'll show it to you. Let's see it. It's a... <clears throat> So it's this thing here. What is that? So it comes around, and then when you push this, well, you put this little key in here, if I can find the right place. And then when you push on this, it pulls it down. Okay. So it's for transmission work when you're doing a, replacing the piston seals on a clutch pack. Okay. You have to press the piston down and then take the snap ring out. And so, oh wow! It's like oh, a, so the, okay, that just pushes down on. The yeah. Oh, so you just set it up here, and then you push this down. Well, that's rather nice. than you know, you can just kind of hold it and then get your snap ring in there. Huh. And it's you know these spin out, so it's adjustable. There's another size there. That's awesome. So, pretty guys trying to do transmission work. They're not cheap, but I mean I've seen. Yeah, it's like I've, having two more hands yeah. to help you do it. That's cool. And so, not that one for doing transmission work. Nice. You just cut a little groove in it. Okay. Then you can put it down in there and then you just turn it like that and it pushes the snap ring out. Okay. Like down in the case. And then, but it hooks the snap ring too and then you can just pull it out. Oh, rather okay. Rather than fight with it. Nice. So it's just a little special tool that huh. I made. But. And then over here, I'll show you this. Oh, okay, yeah. Just real quick. These, uh, I just got these magnets and hung them up here. And I got my grease guns over there. Wow, that's cool. That way they're not sitting on your bench. This is just a little Harbor Freight vacuum bleeder. Uh-huh. But I saw my buddy, I was out at my buddy's shop, and he had his up on his, his lift. He just keeps it off the workbench and yeah. hangs them up. So That's, that's genius. Pretty huh. cool, too. I guess I didn't show you these two things, either. What you got? So this, I hook up to that brake bleeder, and then you can put this on like a brake system or a power steering system okay. and it puts a vacuum on it. Oh, okay. I use it for uh, like Acadia's they're super hard to bleed the power steering. Oh, okay. So you just stick it on there and you can suck the, the air out of it. Works on some brakes things. And then this is just one I made. This is a bushing off of a shock, uh -huh. off the top of a shock. And this is a, off of like a silicone nice. thing. And it's the same thing. It just is a little bit more universal. Nice. But it just goes on there, seals it, and then you can Puts, keeps a vacuum on there while you're turning it just yeah. sucks all the air out huh that brings back memories like having to like i didn't never did it on acadia but like you know old like the sabers and stuff like yeah. that yeah and they're like impossible to, to bleed them yeah. out and i feel like i would burn up the pump <laughs> trying to bleed them out yeah so that would be a yeah life you just saver, put though. vacuum on there and even like if you replace the uh brake master cylinder uh -huh. you can fill it up and then you can put this on there and it'll suck some of the fluid out that way it just doesn't take as long or not some of the fluid but some of the air out of it yeah. so it doesn't take as long to bleed nice gosh well uh danny thank you again thank you so much for meeting yeah, up with thanks me for coming out such a cool setup love it appreciate it gosh hope you guys enjoyed it it's really cool seeing a chevy dealer he's got such a cool setup but uh uh, if you want to have your box featured on this channel, just hit me up. You can send me a message on Instagram or uh, an email, but until the next one, we'll see you.